Good morning. This is Mrs. Farrell from Emerson and Madison. For today's number talk, we are going to look at what is the same and what is different in these two pictures here, these two images. So what I'd like you to do is um, pause and think about what you see that's the same between these two images and what is different. And come on back when you're ready. Okay, so as you think about what's the same, I'll share some of the things that I noticed were the same between these two images. First of all, I noticed that they were both the same length. So this um, image here is the same length as this image down here. They're both ending at the same point. I also noticed that they used purple to show in this case, they're coloring in some of the different pieces of the whole. And down here, they're using this little star to uh, label a place on this number line here. I also know that, or I also notice that it, they are both only showing us a part of the whole. So for example, in this image, I see that they've only colored in some of the boxes, some of the rectangles in this image. And here they've only put the star on the number line to represent just part of the whole. So neither one is uh, being represented as one whole. So some things that I noticed that are different. Uh, this whole has been broken up into pieces using rectangles. This number line down here has been broken up into parts only by using a new point. So by putting an extra point within that number line. On this top image, I noticed that they are uh, have broken up the whole into eight pieces. Whereas on this number line here, it's only been broken up into two pieces. We have this piece here, one, and then two, another piece here. I noticed that um, they labeled a zero and a one here, whereas there are no numbers up here in this top image. However, I can see that there are eight pieces. And I can see again that only four of them are colored in. And then going back to what I noticed that's the same, I actually think that the purple is representing the same amount in each of these images. Up here I see one, two, three, four of the rectangles colored in and there are eight total. So four eighths I know is equivalent to one half. So it is showing one half of the boxes filled in in this image up here. And when I look at this number line down here, I can see that this purple mark has been labeled or put down on the, exactly the halfway point of this number line between zero and one. And I know that the halfway point between zero and one is one half. So since I had said that four eighths is equivalent to one half, and this line down here is showing, or this dot down here is showing the one half mark, I believe that these are showing equivalent fractions. Four eighths is equal to one half. What else did you come up with that was the same or different? Have a great day.